Hey YouTube, Silver Bear here. I've been trying to make this video very short and all my attempts have been rather long. I don't want to bore you guys to death, but uh, so I'm going to really sh kind of cram this information in here, okay? Um, before you you see, uh, these are Netherland silver coins from 1941. Um, as you know, if you know anything about history, 1940, the Netherlands surrendered to the Germans. Uh, however, they were still minting some coins um, uh, a lot of times too the, the mints you know that just because it's 1941 on this coin doesn't mean it was minted then it was probably minted in 1940 um, so anyway uh, Queen Wilhelma uh, she went into exile to England and the mint master uh, mint master von Hederen was um, in charge of the mint uh, he caught wind that the Germans were going to come in and confiscate some of their well confiscate all of the uh, metal the copper and the nickel to use for the war effort well van Hederen he wanted to um, keep the metal out of the Germans hands so he ramped up production and um, worked around the clock trying to get these coins out now the point of the video is is partly the history but also how valuable metal is um, metal is so valuable in our lives that uh, it's important to, to don't just throw it in the garbage you know um, I know some of it's a pain but to keep around and I'm not saying everyone should be a scrapper either but um, you know you might be able to trade something with, for a scrapper and he'll take it from you. Uh, but anyway, the, the thing that excites me about the history of this is that when this coin was made, it's in 1941, um, people were running around that mint and, and, and the Germans were, were um, occupying their country and there's a lot of uncertainty and stuff. Uh, the only thing that made this happen, that made these so available, is that this uh, mint master took it upon himself as a patriot to um, to do what he felt was his duty and and good for him I'm glad that um, he did that um, <clears throat> now the other side of this uh, story which I'll actually I wrote an essay on this uh, story and I will put it post it on the bottom if you guys want to read it if, if anyone's into reading a lot and things and um, you get a better uh, portrayal of the story however uh, I want to point out a couple things for the silver community there was no <clears throat> silver Netherlands coins minted in 1942 um, you know the Queens in England and, and you know the Germans are pretty much taken taken over and if you notice 1941 there's two Netherlands coins there's the silver ones like this this is a 25 and this here is a 10 uh, and then there's zinc coins that um, were used by the Germans to um, to put in a circulation so they can confiscate the copper and the silver coins this nickel here is just here to um, demonstrate the size as you can see there Oops. That's their quarter. It's about the size of our, well, 25 cents. So anyway, um, in 1942, there was no silver coins minted. But in 1943, these coins were minted in the United States at the um, at our mints. Uh, and they bear a mint mark in the um, bottom right-hand corner here. If you can have a corner on a circle, but you know what I mean. Right there. Um, this one doesn't have it though because it was minted in the Netherlands and it'll have the respective mint mark on it the P or the D or the S um, and you can find these for just a little bit over spot on eBay uh, so if you're in the collecting junk silver um, you know this it's something it's not a lot it's only 64% um, silver I believe but uh, as far as like you know spot price goes it's not too bad um, 
So anyway, I'm going to post this on the bottom, and um, <clears throat> that way, if you know, if you're into history and things, you can, uh, you know, look it up yourself and uh, whatnot. And I, I want to, I want to also throw this out there. Now, I dug this information up, and it was very difficult to find this particular information. So if I'm wrong on something, go ahead and let me know, and uh, I'll, um, I would love to hear it actually, uh, and I would look into it and. If you have anything to add, like maybe you're from Europe and you know more about that history, that'd be great. I'd love to hear it. So uh, anyway, I hope everyone had a great 4th of July. And um, for my neighbors in Canada, I hope you all had a great Independence Day as well. And uh, everybody have a, a wonderful rest of the week. Bye.